Investigation is launched into who was behind the wheel of a truck that rolled over and ruined at least a dozen memorial trees Sunday night. Tonight, the family members who have trees planted for their loved ones are speaking out. That story tops the news here at 10. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devon Fernandez in for Devin Skillian tonight. You know, the chaos happened over at a park in Rockwood, and that's where our Pamela Osborne is tonight talking with families who are left heartbroken. Families, they have been nurturing these trees for years. Each one has a name attached to them. They all stand in place of someone who's no longer here. So you can only imagine their shock and surprise when they realize someone ran them over Sunday night. It's very, very sentimental because we come out here at times and just sit and talk, talk to the tree. It sounds silly, but that's what we do. It's love and it goes deep. Albie and his wife, Mickey Skoratovich, are simply devastated. They're broken. It's hard to understand why She's they would do that. Small. Tucked inside of Mercure Park in Rockwood is a living memorial. We came out here and different people plant different trees in memory. We planted our tree in the memory of our daughter who passed away with adrenal cancer when she was 42. But Kim's tree was knocked to the ground with more than a dozen others Sunday night. You can see fresh tire tracks in the grass. Police say the vandal used a pickup truck to mow down these little trees that meant so much. And our son Jeff, he passed away in 2018. He was 45 years old, he had a heart attack. The one Tom and Pat Merkier planted in memory of their son Jeff was also destroyed. Two summers worth of coming out here every other day to, to water. Worst part is, this isn't the first time this happened. But when the damage was done five years ago, we had 14 of them replaced. They'll replace them again. Still, it doesn't hurt any less. We will be back. You know, we will make sure that there are trees planted again. But we will take care of that. We did reach out to Rockwood police. All they would say is that they have leads on the person who they believe is responsible for this. As for Mickey, she says forgiveness that might one day come. She understands that. But for now, she wants the person who did this to maybe reflect and change the course of their life. In Rockwood, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4.